What do you call a bee from the US? A US bee. <laughs> Awful oh, no, don't forget, comment your dad jokes down below. Right, so hello again, everybody, and welcome back. I recently did a video of Timu or Timu, and I did buy a couple of things on it just to test it, and as promised, I've spent £300 on Timu, so we're going to take a look at what I got and the quality. Right, so that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and let's crack on. Right, so first of all, I want to thank Timu for sponsoring this video and allowing me to spend this to test out their products. They must be confident. And like I said, let's take a look at what I got. So the packaging did come in three different orders and it were full of these little bags. And as you can see, there's quite a few there. And I was like a kid at Christmas. I couldn't wait to get stuck in. And some of the things that I did get, I think they're awesome. But let's take a look at everything. So first of all, the first package, I got this T-shirt and I thought... A lot of people might think because it's cheap on there, it'd be a good place to get me clothes or t-shirts or whatever. So I ordered this t-shirt here. And don't ask me why, because I'm not an old man and I'm not grumpy. I'm not. <laughs> but I'm going to be honest with you, not the best quality in the world. And I did buy, I think it was a double XL, but it was really small. So if you've ordered any clothing from Team U before, let me know in the comment section down below. Was you happy with it? Right, so in the next bag, we've got a couple of different items in this one. And I got my son a little electric guitar. It's really small. Because I've got a ukulele that I like to play every now and again. Not very good at it. But I thought I'd get him something that he could play next to me. And if I turn it on... Run out of batteries. Oh, it hasn't. It's back. So it's one of them where you can just press a few buttons and that. <laughs> now granted it's not actually something you can play with the strings but it's just something it can mess about with and that costs 13.99 now the other things in the bag they were just literally hair bobbles there for my wife and my daughters and they are really happy with them and i think they cost around 50 pence or a pound so you can't grumble at that now in the next couple of bags these are the same thing but different colors and what these are the bath towels but they've got armholes inside now for my kids these are brilliant, they use them all the time. But for me, I think it'd take a bit of time to dry me with this one. <laughs> but obviously you wouldn't be wearing a jumper and things like that, but they're not the biggest things in the world. And they're about £3.99 each. Now in the next bag, this is what I actually like, and these are soap dispensers, and it's my mother-in-law that actually wanted these. And they do look really nice. She's put them in the bathroom, so obviously you've got your shampoo, conditioner and body wash. And I think these cost around £6.50 for all three. And they are the nice and the decorative as well. Makes the bathroom look a bit posh, to be honest. <laughs> so in the next bag, we've got a few different items in this one. Now, one of them being, I've got a Ninja air fryer. And they're massive at the moment, aren't they? Everybody owns an air fryer, I think. And these are liners for the bottom of the trays. So all the grease, the fat and the bits don't fall through. And these come in at around three, four pounds And they're brilliant. I can bob one of them in, cook my stuff. Once I've had enough of that one, replace it. It just keeps it nice and clean. And I actually wanted some of those before making this video anyway. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> Next up, we've got some of these, um, it says Polaroid sunglasses. And if we take a quick look at them now, you can see that I look like an absolute diva. <laughs> Really happy with those. I think they cost around £1.50 or £2. Now, next to me, other Polaroids, which I paid about £20 for, they do look a little bit different when you're looking in them, but they do the job as well. And they are mega cheap. Now, next up, we got a couple of um, oil sprayers, and they are what they are. They feel fine. They're not flimsy or anything. They're going to do the job. And my mother-in-law's decided to get a few more so that she's got oil in one, then she's got salt. Uh, she ain't got salt in one, has she? <laughs> And she's got vinegar in one and stuff like that. And they come in at about £2.50, cheap as chips. So next up, I got this, um, it's a busy board thing. It's for my son because he likes the sensory things. And it's got a little button on the front so he can open it up. And then inside, it's got a few different activities he can do. And as you can see, it's got zips, it's got a clock, it's got spinny cog things. And as soon as I opened it, I gave it my son... And it, it just couldn't stop saying the alphabet and the characters or animals that were on it. Alligator. A's for alligator. For B. B is for B. A for cat. Cat. Dinosaur. Dinosaur. 
And he has got a tablet with YouTube Kids on and stuff, but he does tend to carry this round with him as well because he likes switching between the two. So I was happy with that one. And the busy board, that comes in at around £3.50 or £4. Now, something else that I did get... My wife said get like um, a big cushion cover for the sofa because my son's only two year old so when he's got food and pop and things he goes everywhere. So he thought get a couple of covers to just stop all the staining and stuff like that and I will be honest this is one of those that were a bit dog shit and I've not even bothered using it. Now next up we've got one of my favourites and this is a little karaoke machine. Now on the photos it did look a lot bigger but... I am still very happy with it after using it, and we've had loads of fun with it as well. On the back there, you can see we've got a few ports, but we've also got a couple of little microphones with buttons on. And then on top of the karaoke machine, we've got a few different button options there as well. So I've got it here. Whoa. Sorry. I'm going to... <laughs> so I've put it behind me here because if I'm too close with the mic it makes that squealy noise. I'm caught in a trap, but don't look out. <laughs> and then not only that, we've got a couple of different settings on here as well. Hello? Oh, 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 oh. Echo. Go, 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 go. Reverb. Hello? Now it is one of the more expensive items and it comes in at about £55. Now the speaker itself it is pretty loud but the last time I did something on a karaoke my video got taken down because it must be copyright or something but it really isn't a bad speaker. You can even use it just as a wireless Bluetooth speaker. Right so next up we've got a few different items in this one. First of all I got myself like a little ratchet set because... It's something I've never really had. I've always borrowed my brothers. You're always a bit conscious if you're going to lose any of it, aren't you? And this came in at just over £20. And you've got a few different attachments in here. We've got the actual ratchet set itself. We've got some extenders. We've got sockets from 4mm up to 14mm. Next up, we've got like these um, storage bags now. These are pretty big, but... I did expect them to be more solid around the edges. When I looked at the ad on Teamu itself, it did look like they were solid and they weren't flimsy like this. But my wife has found them very useful for such as like the bedding and stuff like that. Now, some of you may be shocked when I say this, but a game I've never played before is Guess Who? So I thought it makes sense to get the game. And it comes as you'd expect. It comes with everything inside and you don't need to see me playing a game of it, do you? <laughs> now, in the next bag, we've got some of these sliders. Now, I absolutely love these. To look at, I like them, me. But my wife, she says they're absolutely gross. But let me tell you something. I had to walk up the garden in them. Look at them. They're cool, them. Nearly stood in some dog shit then as well. <laughs> But yeah, they're just something I wear around the house or in the garden and things. Um, she won't let me actually go out in public wearing them. And she probably doesn't know. I've got them on now. <laughs> I think I've pulled my groin. Oof. And they're coming at around £7.50. Right, so in the next bag, this is a cool little bundle, this one. So we've got an RC car, we've got a neck fan, we've got a wireless keyboard, and they've also got a solar light as well. Now, the remote wireless keyboard, it's as you expect. You get a full QWERTY keyboard on the front there. We've got an air mouse pad in the middle. On the back, I've got it with the rechargeable battery, and we've also got the USB there to plug into a device. So if I show you, such as on my Fire Stick, I'm using an OTG cable to, for this as well. It lights up like that, so the fact that it's backlit is very good. And I can navigate around with this pad. And if I open up an app, and I want to search for something, I can use the keyboard. And some people may prefer that. And that comes in at about £5.50, which is very cheap, isn't it? So if you use an Android box, if you want to use your laptop from a distance, if you've got any kind of streaming device with a USB port, they can be very useful. Also as well, I forgot to show you, you can see it's got an air mouse pad on it as well. So if you use any applications that require an air mouse on a streaming device, then this could come in handy for that as well. 
Click it. Done. So next up, I've got a solar light, and that is what it is. It attaches to the wall. It lights up above it and below it. I did think this came as a pack of three, but it just came on its own. It is very bright, and I'll be honest with you, my son's had it. He's lost it. I can't find it. But it's an outdoor solar light. That's it. <laughs> and this costs just under four pound. Now, the next item, this is something that... It's a godsend, I love it. <laughs> Recently in the UK, we've had a bit of a heat wave. Not at the moment, though, it has gone a bit cloudy. But it is a neck fan. And it came like this, and you can see it is flexible, and you wrap it around your neck, obviously, and that's why it's called a neck fan. <laughs> you can see these holes on it, and if I click this button, I can click it three times to the highest mode. It's like you've got the head out, um, out your car window nice that biggest downfall is it's not the quietest thing in the world i don't know if you can hear it obviously that obviously that's pushed right up against the mic but they are a brilliant piece of kit them and that cost just five pound fifty so if you're struggling to find something to buy somebody as a present that's a good shout that isn't it right so next up we've got the remote control car and i love how this looks me it looks like a proper sports car and underneath we've got where you can put the battery and stuff like that. Comes with a normal standard joystick or remote, whatever you call them. And that costs just over £20. Right, so next up we're just about at the end now. But this is what my wife and kids really wanted. And it's a big bag of, well, it's colouring pens. And it is like a professional set as well. There's loads of different colours in there, loads of different shades. And you've got two ends to the pen as well. You've got like a pointy one and you've got like a block one as well. And now, if I put the kids at the table and say, shut up for a bit, just go and colour in, colour some pictures in. <laughs> they absolutely love it. And it's just one of those, isn't it? It's just it's a bag of felt tip pens. Now, I got this set with the most pens in. I think there's 260-something in there. And that costs like 50-odd pound, which it is quite expensive, that, isn't it? But, like, if you get it with 36 pens, £11.50. 100 pens, £27. There's a few different options on there for the amount of pens that you're going to use. So that concludes this video in... I do love making videos like this. Now, what I will say is I'm generally happy with it. There are a couple of things I might stay away from, such as clothing and that, for myself personally. But there are some things I'm really happy with as well, such as this Arc C car for just over £20. Awesome. You've got this neck fan here. Godsend. £5 something. Just hit the TV with it. Broke it, I think. <laughs> Remote wireless keyboard. Brilliant. Busy board for my son. Loves it. Karaoke machine. Sound. Bath towel. No. <laughs> right, so I will leave links in the description down below where you can check this stuff out. I'll also leave a code where you can get 50% off because everybody likes a saving, don't they? And also, comment down below, have you bought anything from Timu before and what did you think of it? Right, so that's it for this one. So that being said, I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And I'll see you soon. Ta-da!